Raman amplifier, used in optical network to amplify the signal. In this video we'll cover, principle behind Raman amplifier. How to use that in Raman amplifier. What is spontaneous Raman scattering or Stokes scattering? Stokes frequency shift and determines the Raman gain. Different pump laser to use and benefits of Raman amplifier. Types of Raman amplifiers discrete and distributed. What is co-pump and counter-pump? Raman amplifier works on the principle of stimulated Raman scattering, SRS. Scattering. Light particles get interacted with other ions or atoms and light scattered. There are different kind of scattering occur. Rayleigh scattering. Stimulated Brillouin scattering, called as SBS. Stimulated Raman scattering, called as SRS. Stimulated Raman scattering SRS is nonlinear effect. Nonlinear effect are those effects which are related to power. SRS occurs because of photon and optical phonon interaction, and scattered light moves mostly forward. Phonons associated with this process are optical in nature. This effect not depended on fiber types. Like in EDFA amplifier we have erbium contains fiber. This can occur in all type of fiber types. Let's understand how this works with example. This principle says when two wavelengths separated by approximately 100 nanometer, are transmitted simultaneously into the fiber. The optical signal operating at higher of the two wavelengths, is able to absorb optical energy from lower wavelength. Due to that higher wavelength got amplified, the transfer of energy is due to molecular vibration occur in fiber. How this effect used in Raman amplifier. To use this effect we use a pump laser, with high powered, 500 milliwatt to 1 watt, with a wavelength. Here we'll take example with 1450 nanometers as pump wavelength. We can use other wavelength also in pump wavelength. Here we have fiber. Pump laser photons propagate in the fiber. In fiber we have fiber molecules or atoms. Pump laser photons collide with fiber molecules. And absorbed by fiber molecules. This excites the molecules or atoms to higher energy levels. The higher energy levels are not stable states. So they quickly decay to lower intermediate energy levels, releasing energy as photons in any direction at lower frequencies. This is known as spontaneous Raman scattering, or Stokes scattering, and contributes to noise in the fiber. Since the molecules decay to an intermediate energy vibration level, the change in energy is less than the initial received energy during molecule excitation. This change in energy from excited level to intermediate level determines the photon frequency. This is referred to as the Stokes frequency shift, and determines the Raman gain versus frequency curve shape and location. The remaining energy from the intermediate level to ground level is dissipated as molecular vibrations, phonons, in the fiber. 
signal carrying data observed this energy. The result amplification happened. Since there exists a wide range of higher energy levels, the gain curve has a broad spectral width of approximately 30 terahertz. Raman amplification is 48 nanometer wide and provide gain in between 7 to 11 dB. Hope the Raman concept is clear now. Have a look on this to revise the stimulated Raman scattering in fiber. This represent how Raman scattering occur with pump light. This image represent Raman scattering energy level and how signal amplified with Stokes photon occur with pump light. The Raman amplifier is typically much more costly and has less gain than an EDFA amplifier. It, therefore, is used only for specialty applications. There are different advantage of this amplifier has over the EDFA amplifier. In Raman we can use different pump laser, Example at 1420 nanometer, 1430 nanometer, 1450 nanometer, 1460 nanometer, to amplify the entire band range. Notable wavelengths can vary used for example purpose only. Benefits of using different pump laser as Raman amplifier amplify wavelengths that are approximately 100 nanometer higher than the pump wavelength. Amplification window of Raman amplifier is 48 nanometer wide which is higher than EDFA amplification window. Raman amplifier generates very little noise, and hence does not degrade span OSNR, as much as the EDFA. Using Raman amplifier in EDFA spans where additional gain is required but the OSNR limit has been reached. Adding a Raman amplifier may not significantly affect OSNR, but can provide a good signal gain. Let's discuss types of Raman amplifiers. There are two types of Raman amplifiers, discrete Raman amplifiers, and distributed Raman amplifiers. Discrete Raman amplifiers. In this amplifier, it contains internally a sufficiently long spool of fiber, where the signal amplification occurs. Distributed Raman amplifiers. In this amplifier, pump laser is connected to the fiber span, and use transmission fiber as the gain medium. Distributed Raman amplifiers use in two configuration, co-pump, pump, or counter configuration. Co-pump configuration also called forward pump. In this injects high power in the same direction of traffic signals. The advantage of this configuration is that it produces less noise. Counterpump configuration called as reverse pump. In this injects high power in the opposite direction of traffic signals. This configuration is typically preferred since it does not result in excessively high signal powers at the beginning of the fiber span, which can result in non-linear distortions. Please provide your feedback in comment section, and like, share, and subscribe for more video.